Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I have a Audi A4 here. It's a 3.0 V6 diesel and it's got a P2002 code. So it's this V6 engine, it just looks like that. And you got the Catalyst uh, DPF system over here. Just over here, we have the DPF pressure sensor. So it's got this code here, P200-200. And he's had this, um, he's had another mechanic who's changed a couple of sensors, so they've changed the DPF pressure sensor. Um, of course, he's still got the code here, so he just wants me to sort it out properly. Um, we're gonna go into the DPF pressure sensor and we'll run a cleaner through this. I'm gonna do this this vehicle while while it's while the engine's running. So with these uh, Audis, you know, the, this system sits quite high, it sits higher than the cylinders. So it's safer to do one of these with the engine running if you can, because you don't want it to backfill and go, come into the cylinders, then you've got to remove the glow plugs um, because you'll hydrolock the engine. So we're gonna remove the DPF pressure sensor, which is over here. Put that loose there. I've got my uh, cone here, just connected up to the holes there. And that runs back to the gun there. That's connected to the compressor. And we've got that filled up with the launch DPF cleaning fluid into the gun there. So this one, because the engine's running, I'm gonna do five second bursts of the cleaner fluid in through the DPF pressure sensor. And we'll let go. And we'll just keep repeating that until the bottle's gone. And we'll start to see some smoke coming out the back there. Now the engine is hot. So it should just create a steam. Now I think what some people get confused with is that that is actual smoke, you know, from the engine. It's just basically steam there from the from the fluid that's in the hot exhaust system. Now we've disconnected that from the uh, gun there. You can see that the uh, color of the soot is coming through the the fluid coming out there. So we'll wait until that dies down a bit, clears off. And just give the give the holes a little bit of, a little bit of a spray off. Got the sensor there connected back up now. So we've had the vehicle running for a while. I uh, got that flashing glow plug sign there. Had the vehicle running for a while now. Just giving it a few revs up and down. I get the pressure up on the DPF. So we're sitting around about 21 millibars, 22. We will hold. The revs as far as up as it goes, I think two and a half thousand RPM there. Should just be able to watch that coming down. Just giving it a few revs up and down there. It's actually coming coming a little bit suspiciously low this one. Yeah, 20 millibars, it's quite low. But we got sort of two, three millibars, so there is some resistance. We have got a looks like we have got a working DPF in there because uh, I don't like when they go to zero really. Um sometimes I can indicate that the DPF is cracked. Okay, so now we need to come back from here and we will go to, uh, where are we looking? We need to find special functions. Uh, let's come back. Special function, D 
diesel engine, DPF matching. That's what we're looking for. Now we've got these options here. Particle filter replaced. So that's going to do adaptions of the values. Basically calibrate the new uh, DPF in. It's not a new DPF, but the amount of pressure is down low enough. You can tell it's, it's a new DPF. Then we can do the differential pressure sensor. That's done. Okay, so we're going to come in here and do the DPF itself. Start the engine and increase the revs. Okay. So I tried to let it uh, focus there. Almost done. That's it. So if we exit that, come back into the code for the particle filter. Let's turn the engine off. And ignition on. Now we can clear the fault code. And we'll start the vehicle back up. I'll exit that. We'll take the vehicle for a test drive. Make sure that the code's not coming back on. And now that we've reset the uh, DPF, we should go to the live data, check the soot mass, make sure they're on zero grams. On the live data, we're just checking the coolant temperature. It's going above 90 degrees, so that's all good. And we've had it on a test drive, and it's all good. So we'll uh, now come back from the live data. Just do a cold scan again, make sure we've got no codes there. So that's all good. That's it, we can exit that. We're just about finished. Uh, this scan tool is a launch Euro Tab 3. So that's it, we're all finished. See you in the next video.